From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. Seven hydrogen fuel cells supplied by local hydrogen economy company Bambili Energy are now powering a field hospital set up as part of government's anti-COVID-19 policy and located at one military hospital in Pretoria. Bambili is focused on manufacturing fuel cell systems and facilitating the commercialization of intellectual property developed under the Hydrogen South Africa program. The program is a project of the Department of Science and Technology. Department Director General Dr. Phil Njwara attended the official handover of the fuel cells and we asked him about the significance of the event for the department. Well, the significance of it is that uh, we are going to provide power to the field hospital that is here at one military hospital. You've just heard that uh, out of this field hospital now, all the power is not coming from uh, the installed power in the hospital, it comes from these uh, hydrogen and fuel cells. So that's the most significant part and they've been able to reduce the dependence on power and they can then use the power they have here for other activities. Secondly, for us as a department, uh, we have been on this journey of uh, demonstrating how you can add value uh, to platinum and hydrogen fuel cell program of the department started in about 2008-2009. We completed the first phase of building the research capacity. We are now in the second, third phase where we are deploying these locally uh, made manufactured hydrogen and fuel cells with the intellectual property developed from the institutions of the first phase. These hydrogen fuel cells contain um, membrane electrode assembly which is coming from one of our startup companies that came out of UCT and Mintech and that's the component of the fuel cells uh, that uh, converts hydrogen into uh, protons and electrons that then produce electricity. So we are very very delighted because we are therefore seeing the first generation of products coming out of that research capability and entering into the marketplace. The second significance is that we have partnered with Public Works outside of course uh, the Department of Defense uh, to have these hydrogen and fuel cells being part of the strategic infrastructure rollout program that government will be rolling out using these hydrogen fuel cells. And then the third component is that on the program in partnership with a private company that we're working with uh, we will be deploying these fuel cells in some of the rural areas in Limpopo, in KZN and in the Eastern Cape. So we're extremely, extremely delighted that we can alleviate power and electricity problem in rural areas with locally developed technologies. Bambili Energy Electrical Engineer Mpo Malaza explains how the hydrogen fuel cells work. Our hydrogen fuel cell systems you work as a UPS. Uh, again, is that uh, they use electrochemical reaction so that they can produce power. So we've got a methanol tank inside the fuel cell, and then we've got a, a reformer. That reformer is the one that is used to convert the methanol water into pure hydrogen. And then that pure hydrogen will then be stored in the buffer tanks. The buffer tanks will store that. Uh, hydrogen so when it is readily uh, needed by the fuel cell stack. In the fuel cell stack is where now our electricity is being produced. So the hydrogen and the oxygen outside will be clashed together so that we can produce the electricity and then from there we will have our electricity going to our load. But now the electricity that has been produced by the fuel cell stack is not regulated and then we have a component called a direct current to direct current or in short is called a DC-DC which will regulate the current so that we can be, we can be able to use the current. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Reports. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our engineering news daily email newsletter.